Welcome to this short video on VOR navigation where we'll see how we can intercept a specific radial to a VOR. This is us here at the runway and what I want to do is fly to this VOR which has a frequency of 115.7 right let's put that frequency into radio one this is radio one and this is the cdi the course deviation indicator that belongs to it currently uh, the active uh, changeable field is com and i need it to be vlog the vor localizer and that can be done by pressing this pushing this button Look, the, the blue field is now over there. And by rotating the outer and inner knob, we can change to 115.7 uh, right now. And then press the V exchange button. And now 115.7 is the active frequency. Don't forget to, uh, oh, the, uh, to press this uh, GPS NAV button. It should be on NAV, otherwise this instrument won't work. And we can also see that it is already active. It's always a good plan to check uh, audible if uh, you have the correct VOR tuned. And we press this NAV1 button to listen to the Morse code. And that Morse code should be stripe stripe dot stripe as shown over here. Okay, what uh, is happening? We, uh, if we would fly straight to that VOR, it would be a bearing of 67. Since this is a course deviation indicator, it shows only the deviation from an intended course. So with this bearing selector, the Omni bearing selector, we are going to find that bearing of 67. And that should mean that the needle is centered. Yeah, well, we can clearly see that that works. Um, the question is, do I want to fly 67? Well, I first have to take off. To take off means I'll be flying uh, on heading north for a short while. So let me change our plan and say that I want to make that bend towards the VOR somewhere over there. And that means that I now have to find the 75 radial of this VOR. So let's change this uh, heading ring to 75 and we can clearly see that the needle is now yeah, deviating. I have to find this 75 radial. Also note this to from indicator. Uh, currently it says to, which means if I find the 75 radial, I will be flying to this VOR. Well, all set and done. Let's, uh, let's fly. We are in the air and we are uh, flying north. Let's have a look at our uh, instrument now. And yeah, we can see that the needle is slowly crawling uh, to the center. And we have set our bearing to uh, uh, 75. That's the, uh, the bearing that we want to find towards this VOR. So we are now patiently waiting for this needle to approach that uh, center. And then I know that I will be on the 75 radial. Let's have a look at the map we took off. We are now uh, yeah, uh, about here and close to this uh, 75 radial out of this VOR. Uh, the radial actually is the inverse of the 75 the, and that is why it, it shows us this 2 indicator. So, well, let's just uh, fly along uh, keep an eye on uh, this needle when it is centered then we make the bend to the 75 bearing 
Alright, I fast forwarded a bit. Let's have a closer look at our instrument. It's almost centered. And that means that uh, yeah, we are ready to make our curve to 75. Since I'm flying on autopilot, I can do that here with, well, let me show that a bit better here with my heading bug. Uh, let's go to 75 and then the autopilot will take care of the rest. Uh, this is it. Let's have a look out of the window. Yeah, looking good. Uh, I'm, I'm curious to see how this autopilot recovers from the, the curve. If it oscillates or if it... Uh, there's, there's quite some wind. Yeah, it uh, has a little overshoot and then it corrects itself again. We are now uh, hopefully where we want to be. Uh, which means this needle is perfectly centered and yeah we are 75 if so all is well if we look at the map then we can see that we are perfectly fine uh, on the course that we intended next video will be over here and we will intercept the 62 radial to this VOR